Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video we are going to be now hitting all Elden Ring boss fights in New Game Plus with a fantastic and disgustingly broken Night Comet build. Many of you guys requested this build claiming that the Night Comet is the best spell of Elden Ring. I actually didn't believe it until I decided to try it and I can only say that this is definitely the most overpowered sorcery of the entire game. And you might be thinking, what about Comet Azur or what about Crystal Torrent or what about any other thing you believe is better? The thing is that Night Comet has a unique feature that makes it significantly better over the rest of the spells of the game. As it is partially invisible, it can't be avoided by any boss or enemy of the game, even if that boss has a dodge or sidestep feature like Malenia. This spell can be charged or spam like there is no tomorrow, which basically allows you to deal a ridiculous amount of damage in every single fight. Another great feature of the Night Comet is that it has a very decent range if you like the traditional sorcerer gameplay fighting at long distances, but it's really fast as well at the same time, which is perfect for a player like myself that prefers the close range combat. The best part of this build is that it's not limited to casting spells, you can use the Wing of Vastel as a support weapon to gain control on complicated fights, and if you get bored of using Night Comet, you can use almost any other sorcery you would like to play. This is actually one of the most versatile and powerful setups I've created so far. First of all, I'm going to show you the build, and then we will be the every major boss of the game without taking a single hit. We need two staff of loss on plus 25. Using both staffs simultaneously will stack their passive effect granting a huge damage boost. It is indeed the most powerful damage boost that can be obtained in one single magic school. As I said before, I'm going to be using the Wing of Astel to create a gap to use the Night Comet in complicated fights. I'm going to be using the Gelmir Glintstone staff to fight enemies that are extremely resistant to magic. This is completely optional and I am only doing it to not struggle a lot against Renala and her 80% magic damage absorption, but you actually don't need the staff. And we need any seal we have available to cast our main buffs. I'm going to be using the Traveler set with the Navi Hood merely for aesthetical reasons, so feel free to choose your favorite armor set. The best talismans we can choose for this build are the Ritual Sword Talisman, the Magic Scorpion Charm, the Graven Mask Talisman and the Godfrey Icon. This setup is the best to charge Night Comet, but if you want to spam it, then you should use the Graven Skull Talisman. In our Flask of Wondrous Physic, we will use the Magic Shroud and Crack Tear and the Green Spill Crystal Tear. This build devours stamina for some reason, so be sure to have some Pickle Torten legs ready. To break the game with this build, we should use Forion, Vigor and Mind, we need to level up Endurance to 29, Intelligence to 99 and Faith to 33. Golden Vow and Hall of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. Terra Magica and Night Comet are the main source of damage of this build. Magma Shot and Gelmir's Fury are great spells to fight magic damage resistant enemies. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fights? If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Let's see the true potential of this weapon guys. Come on. Fall into my trap baby. You are falling into my trap. This is perfect guys. One. And this is the second. Ooh! It was really close baby. I'm telling you guys, this is the best spell of the game. There you are homie. There he comes. Charge one. Ooh. After this one, he's over. And spam it now. Goodbye. Nice. Come on, come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Oh my god. Goodbye. Oh, look, Phalanx! Oh. <laughs> Dude, it was dirty. He was covering the phalanx, man, but I realized <laughs> that it was there, man. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, whatever. Oh my god, that's a really good shot. Holy, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oh my god. Come on, give it to me, please. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, this has to be done fast, guys. Now. Please. Come on, let's go. Come on, this is it. Let's go! <laughs> nice! <laughs> it seems too easy, guys, but you have to calculate the distance, otherwise he will hit you. 
I think here is okay. Yeah, I have enough range. I'm pretty sure. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Let's go. <laughs> Crazy, man. <laughs> Serious? He's gonna go down. Now, let's go. <laughs> A lot of players say that the caster builds are the easy mode, but sometimes I feel like it's a little bit complicated to get the timing to not get hit, man. Oh, maybe I can play at range. That's a good option as well. I mean, I mean a sorcery build. Oh, he's not ready! He's not ready for anything, bro! He's sleeping! Why are you sleeping, bro? Why are you sleeping? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, guys. They can't see the spell coming, bro. That's the, the true potential of this thing. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> no way, bro. Come on, quickly. Come on. I need more angle. I need more angle. No way, you're crazy, bro. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Those things are falling. I was too close to the giant. That's why it was hard to get to hit the head, man. Oh my god, this is crazy. No. No, 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 no. Let's go, baby. This is crazy, man. <laughs> I need to be very aware of this now. <laughs> oh my god. Nothing. Nothing for you. Careful with the phalanx! <laughs> nice! <laughs> oh, this is perfect. Now it is like this. And we send it. And we start backing up. And we back up. Immediately. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nice. My stamina, bro. Come on. Oh my god, it's over. Hold on, hold on. Let me refill my FP. Boom. Boom. Let's go, guys. <laughs> I felt like it was a little bit slow, but it's, it's, it's okay. Okay, guys, this is the buff routine. It's very simple. First, use Golden Vow. Then a Pickle Turtle Neck. It's, it's optional, but you can do it. Then use your Physic. Now use Hall of Shabriri. And now we are going to cast Terra Magica, but we are going to do it close to, to, to both of them. So, let me see. Nice. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's go. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. Tell me it worked. Tell me it worked. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice. 
He was about to dodge it, bro. There you go. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the first phase is crazy, man. He can dodge the spells, even though he's not trying to dodge them more. <laughs> Come on. Nice. <sighs> Let's go. No way. Oh my god. What? <laughs> He's sleeping, bro. He's not aware of what's going on. No, dude. This is dairy, bro. This is so dairy, guys. <laughs> the fact that the AI gets crazy and doesn't attack you is even more insane, bro. <laughs> Nice. No, dude. Oh, bad mistake. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just need to use the FP. Come on. Oh my god. Oh, look close. Come on, give it to me this time. Let's go. Let's go, guys! <laughs> it was so difficult, bro. We did a lot of damage, but Radagon goes crazy if you attack him at distance, man. Get down, bro. One, one big one. And another big one. And it's over, bro. <laughs> nice tail attack. It's an early tail attack, so it doesn't matter if he uses the skill. Hmm. You're not going anywhere, but boy. <laughs> Crazy strategy, bro. Okay, this is okay. If he does this attack early, I can dodge it and get ready for him. Boom. Boom. Let's go! <laughs> nice! It was easier than I, I thought, man. 